To the unsuspecting eye, Crawford Lake is a wondrous place to dive into nature. But deep inside that body of water, another story is told. A story researchers say showcases this site as the beginning of a new era. The Anthropocene is a proposed time period, and essentially the idea is that humans have changed the planet so much that we are no longer in the Holocene epoch, that some scientists have argued that we should have a totally new geological period. In terms of why Crawford Lake was chosen as that spot, part of it is just geological. So for anyone who's familiar with Toronto and the 401, Crawford Lake is perched right at the top of the Niagara Escarpment. So when you're driving west on the 401, there's this part where you're kind of rising up, and it's right there. And that Niagara Escarpment is made of limestone, and basically limestone is known for having lots of caves. It's believed that Crawford Lake used to have a cave that was underneath it that caved in. And so it's a really deep lake um, that's on that escarpment and so it never mixes all the way to the bottom. In a new exhibit called Crawford Lake Layers in Time at the Royal Ontario Museum, visitors will learn not only about the Anthropocene, but also get a snapshot into the history of Crawford Lake. Every year, the, bottom, the mud at the bottom of the lake is getting a little bit higher, so the lake is gradually filling in. This record, which is actually what made the lake really perfect for people studying the lake, to be able to count every year, almost like a tree ring, that started with human farming at the lake in 1280, so they changed the environment. Brothers says Crawford Lake is the perfect example of how a local spot can have such global significance. I feel like in terms of bringing the Ontario public to understand that even, you know, just around the corner from our house, we have this amazing global record. I think that's a really powerful narrative. It's sort of a knee-jerk reaction to assume that humans have a negative impact on the environment and that everything we do is bad for it. And if there's an impact, it must be making things worse. But we wouldn't say that about the farming in the 1300s necessarily. What you see is instead just humans are always interacting with the environment and it's not necessarily bad or good. Researchers have been studying this lake for decades and hopes seeing those learned lessons on display inspire people to take in the real site. I often say Crawford Lake has many stories to tell. It's, one of them is the story of the potential, you know, golden spike for the Anthropocene, but the story of the Indigenous peoples. So seeing the exhibit at the ROM would give you a taste of what the lake is like and maybe encourage people to go visit the lake. Brother says the intention is also to make this a traveling exhibit that would venture to other parts of the world. The exhibit is on display at the ROM until next September. Kirtan Asasi Theron, CBC News, Toronto. Oh,